who's hungry? Let's go to the park! I know I am, and there's a bunch of new food here in the park, and I haven't gotten to try very much of it, so we're gonna remedy that today. Okay, so we're going with the orange chicken bowl from the Explorers Cafe, something which is relatively new here at the park, and I haven't had it before. And we're gonna have a holiday cupcake for dessert. Let's dig in. Choco berry cupcake, orange chicken bowl. Eat them both up and you'll probably be full. Chocoberry cupcake and orange chicken bowl come with everything you see here from SeaWorld. Okay, that was really good and I am so full. Really like the orange chicken. I wish I would have had some soy sauce. I don't know if there was any at the condiment counter, but I didn't see any. Nonetheless, it was still delicious. I love me some orange chicken and this cupcake. Oh my goodness, if you've never had a SeaWorld cupcake, you don't know what you're missing. Totemo Oishi. So, now that I'm done feeding my face, how about we feed some sea lions again? And once again, SeaWorld hooking it up with the benefits. Bonus, check it out, I got four fish this time. And the last one. Goodbye, bait. There you go. All right, since I can't eat another bite right now, we're gonna take a sunset ride on the gondola of love. It's always a good time for a mind massage. You know, I heard a rumor that Opie had been studying his English, so I had to go see for myself. Sorry, Opie, the grade's gotta stay at a B minus for now. But Opie's a smart otter, and I believe in him, and I know he's gonna ace the next English test. Right, Opie? Well, look who showed up since our last visit. Rudolph and his friends. SeaWorld's also added a lot more lights, so let's go check those out.
Christmas lights are something that I look forward to every season, not just here at SeaWorld, but everywhere I go during the Christmas season, seeing the lights. The lights have always dazzled me and for some reason been fascinating to my eyes and my brain. But I gotta say, I do look forward to the lights here at SeaWorld, particularly what I consider to be probably the largest Christmas tree in California, perhaps a greater area but I always enjoy the Christmas lights here at SeaWorld and there's new stuff every year, so I have that to look forward to. Some things that have always fascinated me, colored lights, colored plastic, colored metal, colored glass, you get the picture. I'm a very visual person. Of course, that's probably pretty apparent to anybody who's been watching this channel for any period of time. I like the dazzlies and the sparklies and the kabooms and the ta-da's. You know, it makes all the things in your brain light up. Christmas lights do that to me. And all the other things I mentioned. You know, it's getting pretty close to closing time and the park is starting to get empty. It's times like this where you almost feel like you have the park to yourself. Which of course is everybody's childhood theme park dream, right? You know, now that I think about it, I think there was a Tiny Toon Adventures video game based on that very concept from back in the day. If I remember correctly, it was on either NES or Game Boy or both. Oh, I almost forgot. We're not done with the lights yet. There's still one more light show left to go. We got fireworks. And with that, it's about time for me to head on out. The park is closing, so I gotta leave anyways. Thank you so much for joining me on this little trip to SeaWorld San Diego for a little more festive holiday fun. If you like these kind of videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Till next time, see you later. Check out that cozy fireplace. Sweet. Look. The ducks are sleeping. Final step count for the day, 7.31 miles. Not bad for just a few hours in the park.